the average person has trouble imagining $85 billion of taxpayer money uh, being stolen each month in QE3 or QE Infinity and given to foreign banks, thousands of private corporations, media outlets, and then the, the, the details are kept from Congress when Congress controls the power of the purse under the U.S. Constitution. People have trouble wrapping their mind around it was $27 trillion in one form of bailout or another that mainly multinational offshore banks got from 2008 till about 2011. We haven't gotten numbers in two years. Now they just don't release those. And people have trouble getting their mind around that. $27 trillion, $28 trillion. But they can get their mind around Obama going to... Europe, going to Ireland, going to South Africa, going to universities around the United States and saying, hey, you shouldn't be able to have air conditioning or a car or live well. That hurts the earth. You need to basically pay more taxes. You're bad trying to live well. See, they say anything they want to tax is bad, so they're going to tax it, but then ignore all the real environmental problems. And, and people can really wrap their minds around that. They can really wrap their minds around power prices going up. And people now are learning it's because they're shutting power plants down by the hundreds every year. I mean, this country's having the lights turned off. Like the HAL 9000 in 2001 Space Odyssey, where they're there turning off the computer's data banks. I'm afraid, Dave, I'm afraid. If America was the HAL 9000, if I was a HAL 9000, I'm sitting there watching our power, our industry, our liberties, our freedoms, our health, everything butchered. Everything it took hundreds of years to build is being annihilated. And then Obama is on another trip, 75 staffers to join president on Ritzy Island. Obama Vineyard Vacation, 7.6 million private resort, over 75 rooms booked for staff. And it's going to cost millions and millions of dollars. And, he, and, and you, thought, you thought that uh, Bush was bad <laughs> vacationing two months a year. Cl uh, and Clinton, this guy's up to like three months a year because he knows he's just a front man. So we'll all debate Obama all day. But in a way, you've got to debate him because he is the agenda. He's the reason they can do it. It's like, well, he drops bombs on people and funds al-Qaeda and secretly arrests Americans and has the CIA engage in domestic propaganda because he's, he's black. I'm supposed to just go, oh my gosh, his, his supposed daddy is from Kenya. We know who his real dad is. And uh, I don't think the guy's even black. The point doesn't even matter. The point is, is that they sit there, for all we know, Obama was grown in a test tube somewhere, and just obsess over him. And so for that, he's very successful. Because he'll sail off in the sunset when this is all over, and It'll take us a few years to figure out whoever else they put in is bad news, unless it's Rand Paul or Ted Cruz. Let me tell you, if Rand Paul or Ted Cruz got in power and really started trying to do something, they'll get shot by a lone, gun, a lone gunman who's openly working for the globalists. No, it's up to us to not go along with all this tyranny, rediscover the culture of liberty, and enforce it. So that's coming up. Big story that broke on Drudge Report over the weekend. Uh, dealing with the Pentagon, admitting that they've been caught lying and are going to try to stop doing it. I'm going to break down what's really behind that straight ahead as well. And your phone calls. It is a huge broadcast today. PrisonPlanet.com, InfoWars.com. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. 
Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. I am your host, Alex Jones. Thank you so much for joining us on this Monday, the 29th day of July, 2013. We're going to be here for the next three hours, Lord willing, and we're going to open the phones up on any subject you want to discuss, but hopefully it's on some of the interesting news and important news that we're going to be breaking down. Here's some of the news on InfoWars.com. MSNBC host says newborn infants don't count as alive. And I saw that this morning at like 5 a.m. when I woke up, and, and I thought, well, wait a minute. Didn't Watson just report on that two weeks ago where an MSNBC host said abort babies after they're born? And then I went and looked, and it was another one, the same lady that said, that, that your kids aren't your kids, Melissa Harris Perry. We've got the transcript from MSNBC. The video's not surfaced yet, but it's on Breitbart, too. So Mike Adams reported on it. I mean, we know it's real. We know she said it. I just I want to find that video. And then, guys, dig around. I, I, it was an article like two, three weeks ago where another one said that. Another host. It was a guy. I mean, I'm telling you, this is a talking point, folks. They run promo ads on there saying... Your kids do not belong to you. They belong to the state, which I told you is in all the CPS uh, textbooks in college. I've, people didn't believe it. I've brought in one of my friends was going to school as a social worker for old people. They were forced to do the, you know, the regular stuff for, you know, for uh, families because you're trained in a wide range. And it was like, hey, this uh, social work book says the family's archaic and bad and has to be eradicated. And I'd seen it at their house and talked about it, this is like 10 years ago, and people didn't believe it, so I brought the textbook in on air, and then everybody went crazy on the Prison Planet Forum and found, like, no exaggeration, hundreds of other books and examples where they were saying it. Uh, you know, the, the, the National Association of Psychiatrists, the National Association uh, of, you name it, 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 this is standard... That's why the CPS comes to your house because your kid falls off the jungle gym and breaks their finger. And you even got witnesses. They're just like, you despicable family. Because the goal is destroy the family. And that's on record. Because then we can have the glorious all state. North Korea has done this with half their population. China, only about a third, lives in dormitories like this. Because it always collapses when they try it. Mao tried it. It's called the Great Leap Forward Cultural Revolution. Those are two different groups. It was the Cultural Revolution, then the Great Leap Forward came after. The point is, they tried to collectivize basically 100% of poor people. It's called slavery. They'd be a big slave pits. You're free! Men with machine guns, you work 18 hours a day, and your kids are raised by us in another facility. How's that freedom sound? Yeah, it always is so much fun under commies. Let me tell you, I'm a real square because I'm not intellectual and into it. Yeah, the campaign was led by Mao Zedong and aimed to rapidly transform the country from an agrarian economy to a communist society through rapid industrialization and collectivization. And you can go read into it. The Great Leap Forward. The Cultural Revolution was when he came to power. In 1958 to 61, ladies and gentlemen, they estimate that more than 40 million people died just during the Great Leap Forward. Of 80-something mil... The Chinese government says they killed. Our CIA loving group, as they are, that helped put Mao in power in 1949, says he only killed 64 million or 65 million. And David Rockefeller wrote in the New York Times when Mao died that communism is the way and that Mao is the model. I have a copy of that. It, the whole thing's online. Just type in David Rockefeller praises Mao Zedong. My, doc, my guys will do it right now. If you're watching on TV, just see how easy it is. You can read an editorial in the New York Times how the greatest mass murderer in history is a great guy. See... See, here's the problem with my show. I know too much, and I'm not up here bragging on some narcissistic power trip, okay? Like, I know a lot, and you don't. I'm freaked out going, look, this stuff is over-the-top documented, and I'm fighting every instinct I've got to, as I've said, jerk up everything and run to the most remote area of the world I can. The problem is those are all under tyrannies as well. And I don't have the money to go to Switzerland, and I don't want to leave America and watch it fall. But man, I tell you, every day I look at my daughters, especially how innocent and good they are, and I, that's why I hate myself. 
This shows the opposite of like self-loving and, oh, I'm on a power trip. It is, oh my gosh, this is real. You have picked a fight with totally crazy control freak social engineers and you're even having an effect. So now you've got the historical absolute demand and prime directive to go all the way, Jones. That's what I'm thinking. But at the same time, I can't help my flesh. The spirit's willing, but my flesh is not. My flesh is get out of here. What are you doing? Don't do that. Oh, that's really going to make them come after you. You're asking for it. You know, why do you do this? Uh, you ought to work with the system. Look how scummy the public is anyways. They're just as bad. I mean, all the arguments. And I'm just like, oh, I'm just telling you, folks, this is not a game. Okay. This is not a game. And everybody in the military and the police and the government and the corporations, you better start doing whatever you can morally to really look at what you're being told to do. Not the cover story, but what you really do. And you better realize this country is being taken over by very criminal interest. And if they get full control, hell is going to be released. Katie, bar the door. And you know that. You know history. Your gut knows that. All of you that work for the system and know how accurate I am because you're living it. You're in the middle of it. You've all got chills right now for a reason. Because we all know we're in grave danger. Everyone is in grave danger. This is not a joke. I keep trying to explain this to people. This is not a game, ladies and gentlemen. You can't join this evil. If we stand down and let that gate open, hell is coming through it. Everything you've seen so far is just the vanguard scouts, is the preparation, is the enemy lining up. You think this is a new world order assault you're seeing? A new world order assault was Mao Zedong killing at least 12% of the Chinese population in 20 years. And a half of it or more in just three or four years. And the Bible says the Antichrist will kill over a third of the planet in just a few months. Whether you believe in the Antichrist or not, the Antichrist believes in you. This whole thing you see being manifested, you can say the fantastic planet angle of it's the subconscious mind of man. The group collective builds this, this, this murderous archetype and then evil people that tune into that, fr that frequency, that mindset. It's like a high school... Uh, event, you know, before the big football game where everybody comes out. What is that called? Pep rally. But there's a certain type of pep rally. What's the big one for like the big game? The point is, you know, that electricity you feel in the air and the smell of the pheromones and, you know, the, the electricity in people's eyes because it's tribal, like getting ready at the tribal camp to hop around and get ready for war. And then, and then the men all get hyped up and run off to, you know, die in battle. That's where that comes from. And they've hyped us up to turn our guns in and hyped us up to be slaves and hyped us up to go attack countries that didn't attack us. They're programming us. And, but, but just like there's a pep rally, it's the big pep rally of the year. I forget what it was. It, they would have cheerleaders sit there and have us drink orange soda out of a baby bottle and everything. I don't remember. I don't know. I played football and I can't remember all of it. Homecoming. I think that's what it is. It, I can't remember any of this anymore. The point is, you all get hyped up for that. Just like there's a spirit, you know, a spirit rally, a pep rally. Let's get the spirit up. Folks, evil has a spirit. It has a wavelength. It has a crazed-eyed behavior. And I'm telling you, that's what's behind that door. They've already knocked big holes in it. They've got their people over the gates. Their people inside running things. And, and they're saying, open the drawbridge. Prosperity, peace, happiness, it's all coming. Get rid of the family. Get rid of due process. Let us spy on you. Let us put black uniform police everywhere. Let us have checkpoints. Let the state run your children. Let the system control you. It's for your safety. Give up your individualism. Historically and currently, anytime that happens, you should run. <laughs> you should run. And people are not running, folks. They're just saying, well, what do I do about it? Or they're cowardly and are deciding to join with this. And I didn't mean to come in here with a sermon at the start of the broadcast today. There's a lot of news I want to get to. It's just that I more and more talk about what I'm internally going through because I know a lot of you are going through it as well. And I realize with horror, 
with horror that we've been very accurate and I wish I hadn't been so accurate. I wish, I almost feel guilty that I've been right. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I could be delusional and just, oh, everything's okay and then, and, and, and then somehow make it all right. It's not going to be all right lying about this to ourselves. Just like the Pentagon, head spokesman for public relations and basically public psyops, the Undersecretary of Defense came out, Mr. Little, and he said, I've been authorized to tell you that we need to stop lying and we've lost all credibility. And, 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 and he basically said, we've got to stop just stonewalling. That tactic isn't working. And then they kind of discuss how it's not a lie to just d deceive people, but to be the first to deceive it and don't just stonewall. And the people look totally depressed in there and freaked out because they realize that it is just another PSYOP. And this is really the announcement of the domestic military takeover of media, which they, but, but, but it's more than that. Because you can tell in the body language of little, you can tell in the body language of some people that get up there, some of the colonels and generals and people in psyops that they're, they're very uh, concerned. Some are, look like they're crying, some look depressed, some look happy. That uh, th This is a big deal to get up there and say, yeah, we've been lying to people, we've lost all credibility. So, so that psyop video is the top link on Drudge. Uh, Pentagon vows American people should hear it from us, not a scoop on the Drudge Report. And the video and the text and the transcript is up there on DrudgeReport.com, the left-hand side. We'll talk about that when we come back. So this is a big deal to have scores of top White House advisors and spokespeople and the head of Homeland Security, on and on and on, from Big Sis to Jay Carney, saying Drudge is not credible. Uh, stop looking at him. Stop listening to him. He's losing credibility when it's the opposite. It's not that I believe Drudge has credibility. It isn't even about credibility. It's about when you go to DrudgeReport.com and link through to see a video of Obama saying I won't raise your payroll taxes and then show a new video of him raising the payroll taxes. Or if there's somebody saying, I'm going to get a free Obama phone. You know, I've gotten 100 free Obama phones and he's going to do more. I mean, that's what one of his supporters said. Or uh, if Wiener gets caught lying about something, they're going to show where he lied before with the New York Daily News article and then show an article a month later where he gets caught in the Associated Press. That's what they hate, is that they don't want you to remember their last lie, their last spin, their last deception. And places like DrudgeReport.com do that. That is, in essence, what they don't like. And so now you have the Department of Defense come out and not attack Drudge as the Undersecretary uh, of uh, State gave a speech last week. He did not, he did not attack Drudge, he came out and said, we need to be out in front of stories and not lie. Go watch the video because we're going to get caught. We need to come out and tell the truth on a host of issues. And again, they're doing this because they know they've already lost all credibility. They already know that they don't have the people's trust. And the Pentagon is saying, hey, politicians, everybody else, and this is in the speech, that just keep stonewalling and lying to people about bullets, about armored vehicles, about drones. It isn't working. They're catching us in the lies. We're naked. We're wide open. Toto pulled the curtain back. There's no point in lying. Joseph Goebbels gave a speech in the last year of Nazi Germany, I think in 1944. You can pull it up. I've seen the speech in a film you know, with English subtitles. He said, you know, to the SS, you know, we, we use propaganda on our own people before. This is a you know, filmed event. We need to stop doing that. We need to be truthful and admit we're losing the war and they're invading and they've landed and that we've got to fight totally to beat them because it demoralizes people to know that we're lying to them. The lies only work if they buy them. And this is what we're talking about here. Uh, look, the Pentagon knows they're lying to people, on a, not just WMDs in Iraq, but about our government running Al-Qaeda. And, and, and they know that American interests are being sold out. I have had so many former top Pentagon people on. You've heard them from 
Colonel Schaefer to, to uh, Dr. Pachinik, you name it. NSA people, you name it. They say the entire military, they almost everybody, military, NSA, people they talk to, FBI, who aren't part of black ops or really corrupt units, are awake, freaked out, and are, and are very upset. That's why there's all these threats against whistleblowers constantly, is because the corrupt inner core of this coup d'etat, this corporate illegal takeover, are trying to intimidate people through the system to follow illegal orders and to intimidate and persecute people that tell the truth. And so there's a real struggle. Here's the big news. There is a struggle for the heart and soul of America. And will we be part of this new world order and be sucked dry to fund the new world order empire? Or will we start swinging the pendulum back in the right direction? That's the big issue. I mean, when you've got a official Pentagon top press briefing, not even press briefing, they're pressing, they're there with the press, pushing for their own people to start pushing a culture of honesty. And they say, even do it with the officers that serve above you. Explain to them they've got to stop lying. Because they realize, ladies and gentlemen, that it's the only hope they've got. They now understand the institutions are going to collapse themselves. The globalists plan to collapse America. They realize the New World Order is really a bad place to go. They now realize the lies they've told. They now realize that. I've really analyzed this. I've analyzed a lot of the other people's uh, posture in high levels. The fact that the last three chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff have basically resigned over not launching illegal wars against Iran and others show that there is a counter coup going on in government. And it took a lot of courage to let people get up there from PSYOPs unscripted. It's unscripted. And say... I want to stop lying. No one believes us anymore. I mean, that's the type of stuff in here. I'm going to continue to analyze how big this is. But this is the Pentagon saying they're going to stop lying to the public. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while 
until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. I want to make myself calm down a little bit and try to go over our top stories, but uh, this report up on Infowars.com, it's already scrolled off the front page. I'm going to have it put back up there. Uh, is right up at the top of DrudgeReport.com on the left-hand side, and everybody needs to read it. And the fact that Drudge is linked to it and it's getting so much attention, I probably want to fine-tune it a little bit and, and maybe add some more of the transcript from the 35-minute uh, press conference uh, with the uh, state of the DOD public affairs, uh, head of public affairs, uh, the undersecretary uh, of state, uh, Mr. Little, because it's so incredibly important. And by fine tuning, you know, uh, I would kind of just sit there with the Don, my reporters record me, and then they kind of put it as a transcript in the article. And then I, 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 I look at the article later and think, you know, I could have. I could have fine-tuned that. Like, there's stuff like, I believe this shows how credible Drudge is. There's no debate Drudge is credible. That's why it's so popular, because he shows a wide spectrum of national, international news, raw government feeds. He linked to the, the Department of Defense transcript at the Department of Defense site um, Saturday, and I saw comments on InfoWars and on the YouTube video saying this isn't real, Drudge isn't credible. Those are just bots and hired people and trolls, folks, that think you're weak-minded and are trying to create a debate about whether this is even a real DOD press conference. I mean, see, that's what the Pentagon is saying is failing. He, he says we've got to stop just lying and just saying something isn't true. It's going to come out anyway. And this is a big deal because it's only the DOD saying this because they're better experts at PSYOPs than the White House is. And there's also a lot better people in the military. I can tell you that I, I have contacts at very high level. You hear some of them on air. You hear some of them are off air. And, I mean, they just say the entire Pentagon is completely freaked out and realizes we've been taken over and is very upset about what's happened in this nation and realizes there's a plan to basically implode us and get rid of the republic entirely and they want the American people to get politically active and take the states back and, and elect good constitutionalists to government. That's mainly the Ted Cruz, Rand Paul type libertarians and we can fix this. But every time I talk to these high level officers, former and serving, they say, look, we're doing whatever we can inside. You've got to help us we're, we're in the government. We're under a spotlight here. 
So we've got, we've got to stand up and give aid and comfort to the patriots and the government. Because the globalists are up there demonizing them. The globalists get their aid and comfort from foreign offshore banks that have hijacked this nation to a great extent. And we're in death throes struggling with this giant boa constrictor that's around us. And if we all focus collectively, we can get this thing off of us. But you've got to chop its head off by admitting we've been overrun. You've got to chop its head off by really awakening and breaking the spell. You've got to chop the head off the snake, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't mean, that the, they'll say, that's a, that's a code word for Obama. No, he's a puppet. The worst thing that could ever happen and a propaganda victory for the globalist. If Obama continues to plunge and it looks like he might get impeached or a bunch of whistleblowers come out and this thing's starting to snowball, governments fall. Corrupt governments, coups fail all the time in history. If that starts happening, A, we don't want it to get out of hand because something worse could come to the fore. We just want to go back to the republic. That's why I say all these calls for revolution. How about a revolution back to America, forward to the 21st century, a re-upload of 1776, where, where the states go, the federal government's been seized, we pull out to reconstitute the original republic. That's my plan last year. You know, Alex Jones, headline, calls for second American revolution. And then I break down that in the Declaration of Independence, we can do this however we see fit, abolish the forms that we become accustomed to, to create new guarantees on our life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. And it's our right, our duty to do that. Well, I believe out of all the systems created by man, and the evidence shows that the system developed by our forebearers between July 4, 1776 and 1789, when the official system was codified, that that is the best system ever developed. And, and, and I've studied it deeply, and I've had con countless constitutional law scholars on, constitutional lawyers on to say, yes, your plan is actually what the founding fathers would do and is actually rooted in A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Well, of course, I've read, no exaggeration, over 100 books on the founding fathers and what happened and, and, and listened to probably 50 or more books on tape. And I mean, I've gotten the big, thick, really wordy ones. Uh, the, those are the ones I've had to read that have listened to book on tape when I drive to work or exercise so that I can actually you know, see what was done and what happened and then compare it to the rest of history. It's the plan to restore our republic. And we need to follow it. Like we should probably find the transcripts Paul Watson did in the articles we wrote from last year where I call for the second American revolution and have those reposted to Infowars.com so that people can understand all I put in that battle plan was what Common Sense and the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence stated. You've got a lot of globalist, Bilderberg group type people like Peter Thiel and others funding total anarchy uh, so that these globalists can just be above the law after they've sucked everything dry. And I'm telling you, that'll create anarchy in the streets with the spoiled, rotten, demon public that the globalists have created. We've got to slowly go out of this, but recognize collectively big government and dependency is a nightmare, has been wrong, being an empire has been wrong, the New World Order has been wrong, the EU has been wrong, the whole world government has already failed, it was designed by banks to loot countries, and it's a diabolical, anti-human, neo-feudalistic system designed to make us poor and is authored by absolutely wicked, out-of-control people and must be defeated. That's where I'm getting at here. So the toll-free number to join us, we're going to open the phones up and we start the next hour so you can get lined up. I'd love to hear from you. I may even go to them in the next segment. Is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. And have your point, your question ready because we're going to go to you. We don't screen the calls, but if it goes right into plugging something, I'm going to let you go. Because I realize that's what stalls the show, is just that we don't screen the calls. And so it just sometimes, you know, there's the bad calls gum up the good. But if you just joined us, it's a big story, folks. Government promises to stop lying because of Drudge Report spotlight. And the word Drudge and Drudge Report has become synonymous with alternative, real, independent media worldwide. Like Google became synonymous with search engines. That's what's happened. And so you have the whole White House and all the spin doctors and the Democrats in Congress and all these people 
saying Drudge is incredible. Drudge is not, you know is losing credibility because the, because Drudge is just in a in a in a in a rising tide of media singularity where there's so much media now. Not only is establishment media being imploded, the, 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 they're falling the fastest. Alternative media is becoming more diluted because there's so much. But in the midst of it, Drudge just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, like last man standing. Infowars is in that backdraft as well. We're, we're rising as well, while pretty much the rest of the alternative media individually is stagnant or getting smaller. But the alternative media is getting bigger in the aggregate. There are hundreds of millions of people getting into analysis and thinking. You can say, oh, well, they're novices. That's good. Everybody will start thinking. And the natural great minds will come to the fore. And it will create true, real diversity of ideas. And, and, a, and a true market of ideas where the best will come to the top. And that's what's happening. Survival of the fittest in the media. So alternative media is displacing mainstream dinosaur parrot media, prostitute media. It is imploding, lost all credibility. The Pentagon has all the NSA metrics and data. They know that it's been destroyed. They realize that, okay, we went with evil at the top. Our people are demoralized. Our own troops know what's happening. They're committing suicide at record levels. Uh, we can see we're going to implode. This is unsustainable. But these bankers don't care. They think that out of the global crisis, they'll get even more power. And they... They actually are like meddling arsonists to get off on burning down societies. And a lot of the top people, CIA, FBI, NSA, Pentagon, especially the Pentagon, especially the Army and the Marine Corps. It was the Marine Corps stopped the coup d'etat in the 30s they were going to run with Smedley Butler. I mean, this has happened over and over again, folks, where the military is finally going, wait a minute, we don't want... This is really evil. And I'm telling you who has led the way with the true narrative for them, with the history, and it's this show. And I can't believe in history. I can say without a shadow of a doubt, and praise God for this, and thank you for your prayers and support, folks. We have analyzed this in 18 years and been laughed up up front, but the whole military, and I've always targeted the military openly because I knew how important they were in this fight. They now know that I told the truth and that it all came true. And so they understand now, and they're listening right now, ladies and gentlemen, at military bases all over the world. They're listening at the Pentagon right now. They try to tell them don't do it, but then that just makes everybody do it. They backfired under Clinton. Clinton did this for us. The Lord works in mysterious ways. In about 1997, memos went out to officers in the Marine Corps first, then in the Army. When I started covering Delta Force and, and, and Special Forces, and, and, and operations they were doing to desensitize the public. And I interviewed police chiefs that blew the whistle, San Antonio, police chiefs in Alice, Texas, police chiefs in Kingsville, Texas, the emergency manager. These guys were all former Army special operations and psych warfare. Uh, the, the people that went public, the chief of police of San Antonio was Army PSYOPs. Uh, the head of Kingsville Emergency, Thomas Sanchez, was former PSYOPs in Vietnam and Cambodia. And when they got approached for desensitization, for gun confiscation, they went, well, they went public. It was Texas again that went public. And they would use any outlet they could to warn people. I went and interviewed these men. And then the military started listening, and Clinton, they had a directive from one of the undersecretaries that they were not to listen to Alex Jones. I was nobody. I had no, no web advertising. I was selling, I had one or two films that were paying for me to hire a few people. I was just one guy in Texas who then started getting on a few other stations via an ISDN line at my house, and the government said, don't listen to him. And so the whole Department of Defense said, who's Alex Jones? <laughs> and then I learned I got some web advertising, and, 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 and we've gone back and even looked at the records because we've got some of that. It was military people visiting our site and buying stuff at day one that funded us. Bill Clinton funded Infowars.com by their people, sent the traitors that had gotten in government saying, you don't go listen to that young man in Texas because of who he's getting on the air. How's he getting police chiefs on? How's he getting emergency management heads on? Who, who we're on? I'm trying to tell the media. Philip has told the, the AP they came with bags of money to buy him off as an infiltration. Same thing they do in a third world. He's like, what are you doing here? You're trying to infiltrate and take over the government of San Antonio? He found out that most people in the city took the money, 200000 apiece, 1997, 1998. AP reported on him saying it was bribery, but not the rest of the story. So I called him. He said, yeah, come down here. I'll tell you what's going on. 
imagine, this is how you beat evil, folks, is by saying it's wrong. And only now do I see the whole history of it and what went on and what happened. I mean, I was no rocket scientist when I was first on air, 21, 22, 23. Still no rocket scientist. But I knew when I was told by military sources, go to this drill. You'll want to see this. I go and they're trying to take guns from farmers. I put it out. The media responds because they know the, the, the Internet didn't have viral video at that time. There was no YouTube. He's lying. There was no drill in Houston. No helicopter crashed. Soldier of Fortune sends reporters, find out, finds out it happened. Guys, print that article you just put on screen. I want to see that. That look Shocking Obama Justice Department. I'm going to get to that after the break. Well, then just put it on screen. Shocking Justice Department memo. Assault weapons ban won't work without confiscation and gun registration. Who's reporting on that now? That's the Gateway Pundit. Yeah, we reported on that... Uh, that's what I thought in February. Yeah, yeah, there's the article. Yeah, InfoWars reported on that too. Good job, Gateway Pundit. But, but I'm just up here ruminating on air about, kind of cogitating about where this goes because there's a real crisis of conscience. See, 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 the system did not want to have a debate about this. They just want to say that's not happening. We're not creating a domestic secret army. We're not training to take on gun owners and veterans. We're not training to take on conservatives and libertarians. It's, it's crazy. It's not happening. And then it all came out five years ago. Okay, we're not buying thousands of armored vehicles a year. It's 7,000 plus giant war wagons. It was 2,000 this year, 7,000 the last three, four years. Okay, we're not training to take your... It just keeps coming out. And so even the Pentagon walks out and says, uh, no one's believing us and we're about to engage in domestic PSYOP operations and everybody's totally depressed looking down in the audience because they know this is a PSYOP within a PSYOP or they, or they think it could be. Some have tears in their eyes because, folks, they know at the Pentagon what, what this means right here in my hand out of Foreign Affairs magazine put out by the Washington Post. U.S. repeals propaganda ban, spreads government-made news to Americans. Yeah, and now I saw some of the fake news funded by the Department of Homeland Security. It's on their own site. I saw it yesterday while I was watching TV, and I said, that's a fake newscast, and I went and looked it up, and I found some older versions and a newer one. I gave it to the guys. I didn't play it yesterday. I will play it later in the broadcast today. They are now producing fake newscasts about gun owners being arrested for being terrorists. And are saying owning guns are, uh, is terrorist to show weak-minded people that in between local newscast produced locally but funded by Homeland Security to create the illusion that gun owning is terrorism, and that's why they had a room of hundreds of psyop officers and civilian psyop people going, "My God, it's bad enough we lie to people overseas. We're going to be doing this now to Americans." But the director to roll it out is saying we're going to stop lying. And so you saw some of the officers really looking freaked out because they were sophisticated enough, the colonels and generals, to know that it was pure bull, probably. They weren't sure. See, nobody's sure. The undersecretary's been told to go say this in prepared remarks. So see, there's psyops within psyops within psyops, but it shows the dam has broken and they realize they've lost total credibility. So now they're going to try to recon the military, recon the psyop people, recon army psyops, they're listening right now. And people say, well, that, none of that makes sense, but quantify it. It isn't quantifiable. It's, it, it's con artistry, folks. So they're trying to gaslight this, basically. But the question is, once you're aware of the gaslighting, it doesn't work anymore. 800-259-9231. But this is a big deal. This is a big deal. And, and at the heart of it is the fact that no one believes them anymore, even when they tell the truth. And they're losing more credibility. They're hemorrhaging out right now. And so my point is, when I tweeted yesterday at Real Alex Jones, I said that the new world order could fall. It's very close to falling in Europe. They've beaten it in places like Iceland. We're close to beating it here. They, they may try to stage a big event and bring in martial law, but if the people in the Pentagon know about it, that's not gonna work. So see, this is almost a stalemate right now, and we need to work towards a victory, but that's gonna take all of us speaking out now at every level of society to, to defend the Republic.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.